Mambo fans wa tazamaji karibuni sana kwenye somo letu la kujifunza Kiingereza. Kwa jina naitwa Dorothy Mrema na nimefurahi sana kwamba umeamua kujifunza Kiingereza leo na mimi. Leo nataka kuwafundisha tensi mpya kwa Kiingereza ambayo inaitwa future perfect. Future perfect. Hilo neno future kwa Kiingereza manake ni wakati ujao. Wakati ujao. Yaani wakati ambao utakuja mbeleni. Future. Na perfect katika lugha ya Kiingereza ni kitu ambacho kimekamilika. Kwa hivyo hii tense ya future perfect ambayo anataka kuwafundisha leo itakusaidia kuongelea vitu ambavyo umekamilisha kwa wakati ujao. Vitu ambavyo havijafanyika bado lakini utavikamilisha kwa wakati ujao. Karibu ni sana. Ukitaka kuongelea vitu ambavyo utakamilisha kwa wakati ujao au wakati unaokuja inabidi utumie neno will. Hii nimeshawafundisha kwamba ukiwa unataka kuongelea kitu ambacho utafanya kwa wakati ujao lazima utumie neno will. Mimi nita, yani mimi nitafanya kitu fulani kwa Kiingereza ni I will. I will. Mimi nita I will. Lazima utumie neno will ukiwa unataka kuongelea vitu ambavyo utafanya kwa wakati ujao. Pia ukitaka kuongelea vitu ambavyo utakamilisha kwa wakati ujao, lazima utumie have. Have. To have kwa Kiingereza ni kuwa na, yani kuwa na kitu fulani. To have. Kwa hivyo ukitaka kuongelea vitu ambavyo utakamilisha kwa wakati ujao lazima pia utumie have. Haya sasa tuingie kwenye tense yetu ya leo ya future perfect. Nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimeanza darasa. Mimi nitakuwa nimeanza darasa. Hapo nimeongelea kitu ambacho kimekamilika kwa wakati ujao. Mimi nitakuwa nimeanza darasa. Kwa Kiingereza nitasema I will have started class. I will have started class. Kwa hivyo hapo umetumia neno will na umetumia kitenzi cha have kuongelea vitu ambavyo umekamilisha kwa wakati ujao. I will have started class. I will have started class. Ningetaka kusema mimi nimeanza darasa kwa Kiingereza ningesema I have started class. Ningetaka kusema mimi nilikuwa nimeanza darasa kwa Kiingereza ningesema I had started class. Lakini leo nataka kuwafundisha jinsi ya kusema mimi nitakuwa nimeanza darasa na kwa Kiingereza hiyo ni I will have started class. Mfano mwingine ni nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimepanga safari yangu. Mimi Nitakuwa nimepanga safari yangu. Naongelea kitendo ambacho nimekamilisha kwa wakati ujao. Naongelea wakati ujao, wakati ambao bado haujafanyika na naongelea kitendo ambacho kimekamilika kwa wakati huo ujao. Kwa hivyo nikitaka kusema nitakuwa nimepanga safari yangu kwa Kiingereza nitasema I will have planned my trip. I will have planned my trip. Ningetaka kusema mimi nimepanga safari yangu, ningesema I have planned my trip. Na ningetaka kusema mimi nilikuwa nimepanga safari yangu, kwa Kiingereza ningesema I had planned my trip. Lakini manake nataka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimepanga safari yangu nikimaanisha kwa wakati ujao nitasema 
I will have planned my trip. Mfano mwingine ni nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimelipa deni. Mimi nitakuwa nimelipa deni. Kitu ambacho nitakuwa nimekamilisha kwa wakati ujao. Nitasema I will have paid the debt. I will have paid the debt. Mimi nitakuwa nimelipa deni. Kumbuka ningetaka kusema mimi nimelipa deni, ningesema I have paid the debt. Na ningetaka kusema mimi nilikuwa nimelipa deni, ningesema I had paid the debt. Lakini kwa sababu nataka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimelipa deni, nikimaanisha kwa wakati ujao, nitasema I will have paid the debt. Sasa tuangalia mifano mingine kwa kutumia hii tensi ya future perfect. Nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimecheza kitenesi kwa Kiingereza nitasema I will have played tennis. I will have played tennis. Nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimeacha kuvuta sigara kwa Kiingereza nitasema I will have stopped smoking. I will have stopped smoking. Nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimepika pilau kwa Kiingereza nitasema I will have cooked pilau. I will have cooked pilau. Nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimetembea siku nzima. Mimi nitakuwa nimetembea siku nzima kwa Kiingereza nitasema I will have walked all day. I will have walked all day. Nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimeoa. Mimi nitakuwa nimeoa kwa Kiingereza nitasema I will have married. I will have married. Nikitaka kusema mimi nitakuwa nimesoma kitabu kwa Kiingereza nitasema I will have read a book. I will have read a book. Nikitaka kusema yeye atakuwa amesafisha nyumba. Yeye atakuwa amesafisha nyumba na naimwongelea ni mwanaume. Yeye atakuwa amesafisha nyumba kwa Kiingereza nitasema he will have cleaned the house. He will have cleaned the house. Nikitaka kusema yeye atakuwa amejifunza Kifaransa na naimwongelea ni mwanamke, yeye atakuwa amejifunza Kifaransa kwa Kiingereza nitasema she will have learned French. She will have learned French. Nikitaka kusema wewe utakuwa umeangalia filamu wewe utakuwa umeangalia filamu kwa Kiingereza nitasema you will have watched a movie you will have watched a movie Nikitaka kusema sisi tutakuwa tumeanza kazi kwa Kiingereza nitasema We will have started work. We will have started work. Nikitaka kusema wao watakuwa wameamua kuondoka. Wao watakuwa wameamua kuondoka. Kwa Kiingereza nitasema they will have decided to leave. They will have decided to leave. Nikitaka kusema nyinyi mtakuwa mmenunua gari nyinyi mtakuwa mmenunua gari kwa Kiingereza nitasema 
You will have bought a car. You will have bought a car. Hi, our friends, what is Amadi? Hivyo ndo jinsi ya kutumia tense ya future perfect ambayo inakusaidia kuzungumzia vitu ambavyo utakamilisha kwa wakati ujao. Natarajia mmejifunza mengi sana katika hili somo letu la leo. Tumefika mwisho wa somo letu la leo lakini usisahau kusubscribe kwenye hii channel na pia kunifuatilia kwenye mitandao mingine kama TikTok na Instagram. Mimi ni Dorothy na washukuruni sana mpaka siku nyingine. Bye.